Hi everyone, welcome to the first video from the coaching series, The Combat Dad. These videos are designed to show any dad how they can look after the health and become even healthier, whether they have a, a newborn, a one-year-old, two-year-old or three-year-old. We'll cover lots of different areas, whether it be exercise, activity, looking into preparing a routine, hydration, nutrition, sleep and stress and so on. We're looking through different tips in these different areas in order to improve your health over a period of time. It doesn't matter how little time you have or even your energy levels as well. We'll show you the importance of looking after your health, not just for yourself, but also for your baby as well. The first coaching tip is gonna be prepare a routine. I know a lot of people say this is not really possible when it comes to a newborn, but there's nothing wrong with sitting down with your partner and actually developing some sort of strategy, whether your child is up all the time, and who does the feeds, who does the changes, who does the preparations of food or milk and so on. It's so important to do that, therefore everyone knows what their role is at certain times. And it's also important as well to try and create some time within your days to actually give each other some time, time out of the situation. So whether you don't really wanna be in the situation of, of a crying baby and so on, 24 hours a day, it can get quite draining, especially early on as well. So even if it's just half an hour, if you give each other say half an hour a day minimum, and I'll take that time actually to do exercise. I know it might sound odd and you might think I actually I'd rather sleep with that, exercise because I see your exercise and activity levels can plummet especially early on with a newborn it is so important to keep active as much as you can so half an hour of exercise in your living room you can do some exercises obviously you can do the workouts from the uh, combat coach tv channel so shadow boxing workouts and so on is very very good but you can do yoga you can do pilates or anything so you can use that space and the idea is to show the importance of that to stay healthy and even become healthier in some uh, cases as well. It's really important to look after your health for your newborn because the healthier you are, the better you are gonna be able to deal with any situation that comes with having a newborn, but also looking at the long-term future as well. If your health is good, Obviously you're going to perform better not just looking after your baby, you'll uh, be able to perform better at your work. And also, I always think it's a big thing, is actually you want to be around for your child as long as possible as well. So actually, it's not actually being selfish anymore. Now you've got a child here, it's actually doubly important for you to be as healthy as you can be. But preparing a routine can actually reduce any sort of stress with arguments that you might have with your partner, especially early on, especially with sleep deprivation and so on that can cause that. So if you give each other time as well, it can make you, make you feel a lot better. Just just take a, a quick step out of the situation. And also looking at things like night feeds, as well as a big one. You can actually share them as well, if it's bottle feed. So in the night, I used to do it when uh, the, my first born. During the nights, so especially got to the weekend, in the week I tend to work a lot of hours, so therefore I couldn't really help too much with the night feeds because I had to get up and drive and so on early in the morning, so that would have been dangerous for me to do too many night feeds. But at the weekend, obviously I could help out a lot more. So if the feeds were sort of spread three or four hours, say 8 p.m. on a Friday night, and the next one would be 12, next one would be four, or it could be three hours, so it could be eight, 11, and two. So what I would do is I'd say, right, I'm going to do the 8 p.m the 11 p.m. and the 2 a.m. feed. So what we'd do is my wife would go up and have an early night to sort of try and re recuperate and get some energy back. I would do the 8 p.m. feed and I'd probably stay up and do some work on the laptop, get to the 11 p.m. feed, and then uh, what I would try and do is settle the baby then, and then once the baby's settled and gone to sleep, when I, I actually perform this downstairs, so allowing the wife to sleep uh, undisturbed, I would sleep on the sofa just for a couple of hours, just which is obviously not ideal in the long, in the long term, but short term, short term it does actually help. Um, so I would actually sleep on the sofa and then when the baby wakes again at say 2 a.m., I would do that feed, allow the baby to settle again. And then when the baby settles, I'd bring the baby up to the bedroom. And then I would actually go, get into bed, go to sleep. And then my wife then would do the next feed. So it was probably about sort of 5, 5.30 a.m. So she would then do the feeds from then. I would stay in bed until I'd had a sort of a pretty decent night's sleep. So especially at the weekend, I could stay in a bit longer. But the good thing with that is we've given each other that extra sort of sleep. We sort of took on the role rather than both getting up to do the feeds. 
one of you get up to do the feeds or one of you take over the feeds and just take the feeds and do the feeds in a different room completely. So you're allowing each other that sleep time. So therefore, when I got up the following morning, so obviously I got up a bit later, we both felt really good and you actually feel good for each other that you've actually helped each other out as well. So preparing a routine is key, not only just to help with the newborn, but actually to make you and your partner feel better as well and give you the energy you need to get through, which is a really tough time, especially this, for the first six months, but also it's gonna allow you to give you time to look after your health as well, so preparing food, healthier meals, and exercise and activity as well. So the other videos which will be coming up in this series will cover all these other areas, looking at sleep and stress and so on. I hope you really enjoyed that video. And please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Turn notifications on and please like and share these videos. It'd really help the channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. And in the meantime, stay fit, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.